Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Isiel Kudala Ibrahim. I'm going to this today's um, discussion will be on the appointment of the new uh, anti corruption watchdog in Nigeria, Abdul Rashid uh, Bawa. It's a gentleman, in fact, it is an appointment that has been uh, applauded uh, by the generality of the public because of one or two reasons. One, because he's a young man, 40 years of age. The second thing is that his uh, antecedents, his uh, expertise, his experience, who was employed to the organization as a cadet and grew through the ranks to become the chair of uh, the organization. It was a worthwhile appointment. But my take most at times to this appointment is that uh, they will be appointed. This is about the fourth substantial uh, chairman, executive chairman of the EFCC in Nigeria. happens to come from my alma mater, Osmedan Fodi University, uh, Sokoto. I, he was a year ahead of me. I think he graduated in 2001, while I graduated in 2002. So, the interesting part of this appointment is that uh, he's a young man, at least 40 years of age. And that is why it was uh, applauded by Nigerians. And Nigerians were happy with the appointment because a young man is now in charge of the corruption fight. Because uh, as far as Nigeria is concerned, we believe that uh, this, the anti-corruption fight has not been impactful as we all wanted, because virtually the problems that corruption is uh, associated with, that is uh, the public of um, impoverishment, few individuals amassing the wealth of the, the commonwealth of Nigerians, has still been practically seen by the disposition of the wealth of most of these individuals. You could just imagine that as a civil servant, once he finishes from or resign or retire, you will see him with estates of, 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 of buildings. So to some extent, we still look at this as that the impact that the anti-corruption watchdog, since it has been established in, 2000, in, in the year 2004-05, it has not given Nigerians the impact that they desire because uh, poverty rate has increased. The, the few individuals that have worked, especially for civil servants, you see them having a lot of houses. I'm not saying that as a civil servant from the ranks of up to the PAMSEC are not entitled to own houses. But some of the rate at which you look at this, the rate at which the, the wealth was acquired comes to the question or come to question the 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 the, the garment of possession of wealth by a public servant, the judges. When you talk of the judges, the corruption in the judiciary, the corruption even in the national assembly, corruption everywhere, even the private sector. Most of those contractors, I used to see them 
are pipes, they are corruption pipes. You inflate contracts. The civil servant you will see in a ministry, though that is the responsibility of, uh, of, 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 of ICPC, in the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related uh, Offenses uh, Act. So it is the arm of government that, uh, or the institution of government that's supposed to fight the corruption in the civil service. But up, 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 up recently, no impact has been felt of their fight because virtually the corruption index in Nigeria has not helped matters since we started anti-corruption, serious anti-corruption that is serious in court anti-corruption fight in Nigeria. So virtually, I, it, the appointment has been, uh, 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 been given a lot, but the advice to him is that he should not, he should be man of himself and he should leave a legacy that when and should be fearless because the corrupt people could go to any length to make sure that they score through the process. They can buy the judges, they can buy whoever is in charge of the corruption fight. So frankly speaking, I am very, very happy. One, because the person that is in charge now is from my institution, my former institution, Osmana for the University. Second is a young man. We want role models, anti-corruption role models, because most of the bosses that have had or oh, most of the executive chairman that have headed that parastata ended up being re sacked because of that corruption, that same corruption they were appointed to fight. So my advice to him is he should be dogged, he should have fears, he should have he should have his own mind. He should have all the required ingredients that will give him the, 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 the success he all desire. Nigerians will support him because if he gets it right, Nigeria will get it right. It is estimated that since the time Nigeria started uh, drilling oil, over 400 billion dollars had been lost to corruption. Most of the money had been taken outside this country. That is the most pathetic part of it. I have not seen a country where its citizens will get occupied an office or work for government, steal the money and take it out of the country like Nigeria thereby empowering the, 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 the host country while depriving Nigeria. And the, 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 the result of what they have done is what is manifest today. Most of children, there are over, over 20 million children of school in Nigeria, over 20 million. The leaders, <laughs> most especially, and do not care if they could educate the last child in the street. The, the impact is even more in other Nigeria. Where you visit state, you see these children being roaming about the, 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 the street and when it's time to get food to eat they move from one compound to the other begging for food 
And this is 21st century in Nigeria. I'm just not celebrating to some extent. I'm happy that he's appointed. I will only celebrate when I see the fundamental changes that he has brought about in, 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 in EFCC, Economy and Financial Crime Commission. When I see that the impact expected of that institution on Nigerians is becoming practical. When I see high profile Nigerians who are corrupt, the cancers that has bedeviled this country are under lock and are made to pay. You hear of money laundering everywhere. People taking our money out of this country. Oh, what, what, what we get at the end of it is that poverty. Nigeria, Nigeria is now the poverty, the most, the country with the highest number of poor people. India has saved its people, despite the fact that they have over a billion population. China has also done it. In the 1980s, China was one of the most poorest countries in the world. But what, what helped the system there is that the leaders were committed at all levels of government. It is in China, an Asian country, that when a corrupt person discovered that his act has been, has been discovered, will end up hanging himself because the institution will make him regret what he has done. And that has rubbed on the on the family. That is the most important thing. But here in Nigeria, families celebrate corrupt people. States celebrate corrupt people. Clans, I mean tribal groups, celebrate corrupt people. People will be posting this argument that, okay, is it that because it is ours that the corruption exercise is intense to target them? They fail to understand that this corrupt, corrupt individual, because there, there was a time there was a leader a state governor was, was charged with corruption in Great Britain. And he served his time. By the time that same leader landed in Nigeria and went to his community, they were celebrating. What ought to be a shame became a heroic celebration. In that same institution, in, in that same state. So you can just imagine the gamut of problems, the gamut of corruption in our society, the psyche, our individual psyche has to be reset to tell the corrupt or the psychophant, the people that celebrate corrupt people that it is not business as usual to, 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 to commend you because of the track record that has shown of the corruption fight that you have done, that high profile investigation that you involved yourself, which are in the records. So I'm not celebrating you. Please be, 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 be. I'm not celebrating him. Get this clear. But I will only celebrate him if God spare our lives to see that he has fought corruption or he has given corruption a, the hardest of blow. And it is only then that the impact. You can imagine a, 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 what corruption does. For example, a hospital 
a, 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 a private company is given a contract to provide a hospital in a community that is bedeviled with a lot of problems. That money was given, the contract was awarded, the money was remitted. But somewhere, somehow, the company went, maybe refused to execute the contract. And that same society, people continue to die of curable diseases, of diseases that are curable. But because of that hospital that was meant to be given that were meant to be provided for that community and it was refused, people died. A soul that is lost because of the inefficiency of an institution or because of the corrupt corruption is as if Nigeria has lost the whole of its cities. That is what it tells. So, please, we should all we should all rally around around this young man and be part of the corruption fight. This uh, bill of uh, this uh, uh, executive uh, order, the whistleblower thing, will help. It's not necessary that you gain something out of it, but when you see something, you say something, as it has been. But I, I don't know who has come with that idea, but saying, seeing something and saying something will go a long way in helping this society. Don't just say because you are not the one appointed to fight corruption. The cor fight of uh, fighting corruption just stay at the table of the commission. No. Even as a civil servant who knows a particular company that usually will not execute the contract that it's given, you have the mandate to, to expose that company. Through the whistleblower, thing, your identity will be hidden. Even if it is known, that is a sacrifice you are making for a society, for the betterment of the society. Or my advice, to you is be faithful, be transparent, be unbiased, do your work, no matter what it is to take you. It is going to be a sacrifice that is worth taking that you get Nigeria or to fight corrupt people in this country.